Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia Sands, and this, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. All right, we're talking about Fortnite cinematic montages today, how to make them, how to edit them, and how to get your gameplay looking a little bit sicker. So today I'm gonna run you through how to do something like this. So one of the biggest questions I got from the last video I did was how to actually record the gameplay because there's no internal recording mechanism in the Fortnite replay system. So you have to use the third party software. My software of choice is OBS, which is open broadcaster software. It is a free software that you can download and you can do display capture and game capture in various frame rates and formats. And it works really well. Or if you have an Nvidia graphics card like I do, you can use Nvidia GeForce Experience or Shadow Play or whatever they're calling it now, which allows you to record your gameplay via your GPU. Now, the reason I prefer OBS over NVIDIA GeForce Shadow Play or whatever is there's a little checkbox in OBS that allows you to hide your mouse cursor while you're capturing your gameplay, which to me is huge because I've tried to use GeForce Experience before and my mouse was just on the screen. And while I'm recording gameplay and getting various angles and doing all this stuff, I don't want to have to worry about my mouse showing up in my footage. So that one little checkbox from OBS is what pushes me over the edge to use it over NVIDIA GeForce because it's just easier. So if you guys want, you can go to obsproject.com. You can download the software for free and I will run you through the settings that you will need to capture your Fortnite gameplay. All right, guys, after you download and install OBS and you launch the program, this is kind of what you'll see when you first open it up. There will be a default scene down here and you can add a couple different sources. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the plus icon and go to display capture and we're going to name this whatever you want, hit okay, and it will automatically capture your main display on your desktop. And if it's capturing another desktop window, like I have a second monitor, you can just come over here and switch that to the appropriate display. And then here's that box down here, capture cursor. We are going to turn that off and hit OK. So now OBS, what it's doing is it's capturing my entire desktop so that when I run Fortnite in full screen, it will just capture everything that's coming off of my desktop. So now that we've got our display capture set up appropriately, we're gonna come down here to settings and we're gonna go to output and make sure that your output mode is set to advanced. And then we'll come over to recording and these are the settings that I have set for OBS. So standard up here, you guys can save it to whatever you want. I recommend saving it to your fastest hard drive on your computer, it just makes things a lot easier. And then coming down here, recording format, I have mine set to MKV. You guys can set it to a variety of different things here, but MKV, I was told, will have the least likelihood of crashing OBS when recording to MKV. And then built into OBS, you can convert that to MP4 after you guys are done recording, which we'll go through at the end of this video. Audio tracks one, two, three, four, depending on if you have a mic set up inside your computer or not, these will record various audio signals. My encoder is NVENC H.264. And then down here under rate control, CBR, VBR, CQP, what do all these mean? CBR is constant bit rate, variable bit rate is VBR, and CQP is constant quantization parameter. And the insider tip on CQP, I actually work with one of the guys that helped develop OBS and he came into my office and he set me up and he was like, use CQP, I'm telling you, that's the jam. And ever since I switched it over to CQP, all of my videos just look a lot cleaner, a lot crisper, and it's not super taxing on the CPU. It's not varying in bit rate. So you get like frame drops and all that stuff. I don't know anything about this stuff, but he came in and was like, hey, CQP is the jam. I believe him and I'm telling you now, Pass it on, spread the word. I have my CQP setting at 20. I have my preset at high quality, profile main, and level auto. And then coming up here to video, let's switch over to the video tab. I have my base canvas resolution at my desktop resolution, which is 2560 by 1440. I'm also outputting that resolution at 2560 by 1440, and I am recording at 60 FPS at 32 samples. And guys, that's pretty much all you'll need in video and in output. And once you've kind of mirrored your settings to mine, now we are ready to launch Fortnite and get into recording some gameplay. All right, guys, so launch Fortnite and get into the lobby in Battle Royale. And then you'll wanna come up here to the career tab and then go to the replays folder. And here will be all of your saved replays from the most recent patch. And I say most recent patch because you actually can't save an old replay from three patches ago and call it up in this patch. Unfortunately, Epic hasn't 
integrated that functionality into the game, which kind of sucks because I had a lot of really good games back in the day, but you can only recall replays that you've played on the most recent patch and all other replays will be obsolete. So kind of unfortunate, but this is what you have to work with. So go play a sick game and then do the replay right after you play it because that's kind of the key to winning here. So I'm going to open up this replay here, my most recent game. I got six kills. We finished third, not the best, but we had a couple first place finishes in here throughout the day. Anyway, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to do this video about replay. You know what I'm saying? So click on this replay here and come down here to the play button and hit play and then confirm. All right, guys. So once you open your replay, let's go through the interface one more time. So down here, first and foremost, is your timeline of the events that happen in the game. And so the exclamation marks are where you knock a player, the little like target icon is where you kill a player and the X is where you get killed. Coming down here to the bottom left, this little eyeball icon is to show and hide the HUD. In order to get the HUD back up, you have to hit escape twice on the keyboard and it will bring it back up. Down here is a list of all of the players in the game. So I can click on myself right here and it will go to my character or any other characters. So if somebody kills you in like some insane shot, you can actually go back and watch how they killed you if you wanted to. Here are all of our camera controls and we will go through those once we actually get into the game. Down here, you can go to the beginning, you can go back 15 seconds, you can play forward 15 15 seconds and to the end and here's your replay speed again here you can switch characters in the game to focus on one person or another and down here are our varying camera options which we will use in a little bit so what I'm going to do is actually go down here to midway in the game where I get a knock and let's check out the different options that we have. My favorite option for doing Fortnite cinematic replays is the drone free cam. And what that allows you to do is use WASD to move forward, backward, left and right, and Q and E to move up and down. So E will go up, Q will go down, and then WASD is normal movement keys. So if I hit spacebar to play, what this is gonna allow me to do is actually position my camera in a way that I can actually see and get a nice cinematic shot of me shooting this little bear dude over here. So if you have a mouse with the scroll wheel, if you scroll up on the mouse, it will increase your focal length down here. And if you scroll backwards, it will make it a lot wider. So you can really do a lot of cool stuff with this. So if I decided to come down here and try to line up this shot here, there you go. That's looking pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll actually open up OBS. So I'm gonna tab into OBS here. And I'm just going to hit the start recording button here and it will start recording my display just like how we set it up earlier. And now what I'm going to do is maybe turn down the speed at which this replay is going to play. I'm going to hide the HUD. I'm going to wait for this to go away and now I'm going to hit play. There you go. That was a pretty cool and clean shot. So now I'll hit escape twice and I'll go back and maybe now I will set up a new shot. So now I'm going to swing the camera around and now I'm going to get a nice close up shot of me scoping in on this dude. And for those of you that don't know, if we come down to our camera options here, we can turn on a couple different options here. We can do high quality effects. We can lower or raise the aperture. We can set the autofocus to be on and off. Sometimes I will actually turn this to off and actually manually focus the camera myself if you wanted to do like very certain specific focal things and you can turn nameplates on and off, weapon tracers, all that stuff in this camera option here. But basically what you're doing is you're just getting a variety of shots and OBS is actively recording the entire time. So now I'm gonna get this shot here. I'm gonna hide the HUD. I'm gonna hit space bar to play. There you go. Escape twice, we'll come back out. And now I'm gonna go over to the guy that I killed. So now maybe what I'll do is I'll get a shot over this guy's shoulder of me scoping in. And now here's kind of where your autofocus I think will help the most. If we turn autofocus to off, now I can actually guarantee that my character is gonna be in focus even though this person is in the foreground here. So what I'll do is I'll hide the HUD and hit spacebar. Nice. So now I've gotten three different shots, all the while OBS is just actively recording everything that I've been doing. And so what you guys are gonna wanna do is just get a variety of shots, close-ups, medium shots, wide shots, swooping shots if you want. Just continuously move the camera and continuously start building shots around the action that you want to accomplish in the cinematic. Let OBS run the entire time. Hopefully you have a computer that can handle that. If it starts getting too hot or whatever, you may have to start and stop OBS occasionally, but just let it run the entire time and just get a whole 
whole bunch of stuff and experiment with different angles so then that way when you get it into Adobe Premiere, you can make something really cool out of it. So one really quick thing, we're gonna jump back into OBS. I'm gonna show you guys how to convert your MKV to an MP4, it's super easy. So once you're done recording all of your gameplay, what you're gonna do is hit stop recording right here. It will stop the gameplay record. And then you're gonna come up here to file, remux recordings. And then we're gonna find the OBS recording. So I'm gonna go to browse and I'm gonna to navigate to where all of my Fortnite replay clips are from OBS, which is right here. This is the one I've done today. So I'm just gonna simply click open and it's gonna convert from MKV to MP4 in the exact same file location. Just hit Remux and there you go. It's super fast. My computer's not insanely beefy. It actually does work pretty quick. But if you record for like a really long time, it may take a little bit longer. But this is, I've been told, the safest way to run OBS is recording to MKV and then converting to MP4 after you're done doing all of your recordings. So if you're following along with this video and you're recording your own gameplay, now is the time to just go and record as many angles and as many different ways as possible. And then we're gonna jump into Premiere. All right, guys, I've got Premiere open now. And in my footage folder, I have all of my screen recording videos that I did. Again, we're recording at 60 FPS. So we will have the ability to slow it down even more if we wanted to. But as you can remember, we did 50% speed in game to kind of get that nice buttery smooth slow-mo from the replay file. But if we wanted to slow it down a little bit more, having 60 FPS is definitely great. And down here on my timeline, I have the music that I want to edit it to. So what I would recommend doing is going through all of your footage and just finding the spots that you know that you recorded right. So like here, we'll set it in and out. There you go, there's a clip. And I'm just gonna drag that down onto my timeline and we'll go to the next one that we recorded. And you can always tell once the HUD goes away at the bottom, that's how you can tell that you're gonna start your in and out. So starting in and out here, there you go. And we're just gonna drop them all down on the timeline. Now I did a bunch more on my own, so I'm just gonna go through and put them all on the timeline. All right, guys, I've gone through all of my gameplay and what I've done down here on my timeline is I've labeled all the clips by color depending on which kill it was. So this purple one right here is my first kill. This pink one right here is my second kill. And these orange ones over here are the actual like gameplay third person captures that I got from the gameplay that are just kind of like me gliding in and everything because I'm gonna need something to start this video off with. Now, what I would recommend doing, especially with OBS when you're recording things that are kind of like in slow-mo, the audio tends to be out of sync. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna erase all this audio right now and we'll go back in and do sound design after the fact. So we're just gonna be working with video right now. So what I wanna do is I wanna just start off by me gliding in. So let's go to our glider clips. So maybe we'll use that one first. And we did record in 60 FPS. So what I'm gonna do is actually speed this up to 200%. Then we'll cut to maybe one of the close-ups. this hit right here we'll go to one of the punch-ins which I did right here all right and now we'll get this shot of me gliding in in the wide which I think is right here Now we're just gonna start building out our scene with all of the things that we captured in here and you're gonna edit it similar to how you would edit any other video. Now, I would go through and I would show you my entire editing process, but then the tutorial would just be in real time and it would take forever. But basically, what I want you guys to do is record all of your cinematics, many different angles, wides, medium shots, close-ups, extreme close-ups, change the focal length, change the way that the camera interacts with your character, and just let OBS run and just record as much as you possibly can, then get it into Premiere, chop it all up, and now you have your different parts of your scene that you can start building and compiling and start doing sound design, and you can try to do camera movements movements and masking and you can start to really do a lot but it comes from recording the gameplay first so you have to make sure that that's totally good so if you don't remember go back to the beginning of this video and look at my OBS settings to make sure that you guys are as closely matched as possible so you can get the highest quality gameplay from your computer that you can also in the video description below I'm going to include the links to the gameplay that I recorded myself so you guys can kind of watch through and see what I was doing with the auto
autofocus, see what I was doing with the different camera angles and how I kind of made my cinematics. So maybe that will also teach you how to use the interface a little bit more. Now, remember you guys cannot go back and do old replays that are on different patches of Fortnite, which sucks, but go and play some games on the new patch, slay out and immediately record your gameplay after you have a really good game. So at least you have the baseline and record all your angles and then you can edit it whenever you want, but you're gonna lose out on that opportunity if you don't record your gameplay on the most recent patch. Was this video confusing? Maybe for some people, I hope I try to make it as clear as possible, but really guys, you're gonna learn the most by just experimenting and going in and just trying a bunch of stuff. You're gonna see what works, you're gonna see what doesn't work, and you're gonna learn from your failures because that's how you progress. That does it today for me, guys. My name is Nadia and Sands. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here every week. If you wanna follow me on social media at Nadia and Sands, you can reach out. If you have any questions, you want me to review something, you have an idea for a tutorial, let me know. Subscribe check out the last video and I will see you next time.